guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video today i have built my own kkw and mario palette that i am going to talk a little bit about and swatch but first of all if you are not subscribed to my channel i highly suggest you guys to subscribe i upload videos six to seven times a week so you get a lot of content here but now let's get into the video so i have talked a little bit with you guys about kim kardashian and the mario palette you guys know that i did not want to purchase that palette because i don't love neutrals well i do love my neutrals definitely but i don't use them that often and i di didn't feel like that was a palette that i needed to have so i have built my own kiki w and mario palette and the first thing i gotta say is that this was so hard because you can only see some pictures on the internet you can't really see that many tutorials um swatches was very hard to find and some swatches looked totally different in some pictures so this was very hard and this is not exact dupes of any of the shades i just wanted to collect some of the items in my collection or just to pick some of the um, single shadows that i had in my collection so i could show you guys that if you don't have the money you don't have to spend it if you want to purchase the palette and you have 10 palettes that looks exactly the same go for it if you want it that's totally fine but for some of you guys you might already have these shades in your collection and you don't have to go out and purchase the palette so that is what we're gonna do today this is the palette that i have built as i said it's not a completely dupe but it's close enough anyway so we're just gonna start with the first shade which is this shade this is the swatch picture that i had have looked at and what I can see is that the first shade is a pure white. It's a shimmery white shade, which is very, very beautiful. And I have this shade from Makeup Geek, which is called Ice Queen. So I'm just going to swatch it right here. And this is, as I said, Ice Queen. It's a very beautiful shade. It might not look as intense as the one that we saw in the swatch picture but it is a shimmering white and you can build it with a setting spray or just some water and it will look a little bit more intense next up if we look at the picture i think that it looks to be somewhat like a gold when you see it in the palette but once you see the next shade i think it looks like a shimmering green shade so that is what I have taken out. This is a shadow from ColourPop and this shade is called Game Changer. And I am gonna swatch it right next to it. So this is, as you can see, this is a shimmering green, but it's not as green as the green takes over. Then we have a warm brown shade and I can guarantee you that you have this in your collection if you own two or three palettes this type of shade tends to go with every palette that you buy but i just chose the shade frappe or frappe it's just a warm brown shade this is from makeup geek and it's a very beautiful shade i have used this a lot of times uh, I really like this shade, but yeah, as you can see, it's just a warm brown shade. Next shade, I had a little bit of a problem duping. I thought that this was a very unique shade because when we look at it, I'm looking at the pictures on um, the, the palette right now, and it looks to be a simple regular gold shade. But when we see the swatch picture, it looks to have a lot of yellow in it, and I... To be honest, don't have that. So I just pulled out Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer. This is a beautiful shade that I tend to use a lot of times in my inner corners, but you can also use this on your lid. I don't even know if you can see me swatch. This is not a shade that's identical to the um, palette in KKW's palette. 
this is very close far away from it but i just wanted to show you guys an option anyway you might have something in your collection with that tint but i think it looks like a very unique shade so i had a very hard time duping that shade the next shade on the first row looks to be a cool toned matte brown rich brown shade and this is a shade from makeup geek and this is the shade americano i love to say that americano and I am just gonna swatch it right here as well. This is same thing as the shade Frappe. I don't think that this will be a hard shade for you to do if you have some palettes in your collection. I think that this will be very easy to do. Next shade seems to be a shade that is just a matte pure, not white, but I would say a beige. This is a little bit more beige than the shade you can see in the KKW. This is Makeup Geek's baby face. I, I think I will have a very hard time <laughs> swatching this. I can't really get my finger in there because it's so, I have hit pan on it so much, but it's basically just my skin color. But say for instance, you have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. You have this shade right here, White Peach. Kat Von D shade and eye palette. You could go for this shade or even this shade. I think that that shade will be the easiest to dupe. I, th I know that Too Faced uh, Chocolate palette has that as well. Chocolate Bar Palette has that as well. So um, that shade won't be a problem for you to do, but I just don't have it in a single shade. Next shade looks to be a reddish brown, and I have taken this out of my collection, which is Makeup Geek Bitten. A lot of people have this palette in their collection. This is also the shade I do believe in the Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette. So if you have that shade, Wow, what a bad swatch. Wait, here we have it. I am not the best at swatching, as you can see. <laughs> I'm very bad at it. I really love this shade. This is one of my favorite shades from Makeup Geek. I just think that this is such a beautiful shade. Right next to that, we have a shimmer purple. And in the swatch picture, it kind of looks to be a matte purple. I don't really think that the swatch picture does the palette any justice. Now I dropped the shade, but I pulled out Makeup Geek sensuous and here we have it i did swatch this more than once but i just wanted to show you guys the color payoff just so you can see how it looks because th these shades that i'm showing you are very good in quality but they don't swatch as well all of them and of course we have the blue shade that is so beautiful i took the shade from ColourPop, this is the shade Two Piece, which is just a dark blue it's a shimmery blue shade Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Just love this. And the last shade is a shade that also looks to be golden in the palette, but it looks to be a little bit more of a bronzy shade once it's swatched. But I pulled out a foiled shadow from Makeup Geek, and this is the shade Magic Art. I am not a gold lover, but this one, this is a beautiful. And also, I think that a lot of us has bronzy and golden shades in our collection. So this is my take on the KKW and Mario palette. As I said, this is not me trying to dupe the exact same shades. This is just me trying to show you guys that you might have some similar shades in your collection so you don't have to go out and purchase it. But if you want to go out and purchase it, definitely do so. But yeah, that was my take on the KKW and Mario palette. Please let me know if you have purchased it or if you are planning to purchase it. But that was all from me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you aren't a subscriber. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.